and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we're gonna to make you some absolutely delicious berries and cream crepes. These are ones that you can use at your Optimum Blender, any one, the 92, the 94, or the 9900 to create. Um, you do need a dehydrator to finish them off though, but uh, well worth it. So let's get started. Really, really easy recipe. The first thing that we need to do is take four bananas and place them peeled in the jug of your Optimum Blender. So quickly throw those in now. Just break them in half, but the blender is so powerful, you don't really need to do any more than that. This is such a simple recipe. It's a really good one for kids to make, um, and it's just a really easy one to uh, create. You can keep the made crepes in your fridge for up to seven days. Uh, once they're done. So all I've done is pop the four bananas in there and I have a compost bin down the side here so they'll go out. Then you're going to pop in about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Now if you want to get the juice more easily out of the lemon you simply roll it on the board until it goes nice and soft and squishy. I've already done that. There's about two tablespoons per standard size lemon so I'm just going to use a half a lemon which is about one tablespoon in there. And they're gonna pop in an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now it's up to you, you can put a little bit more, a little bit less, you can change the flavor using allspice or even nutmeg is delicious. Place the jug onto the cushion on your Optimum Blender and then pop the lid straight on top. Make sure the lid is securely in place. Unlike all of the liquidy things that you can make, this one is less likely to splash all over the ceiling but we really don't need to redecorate with banana. And then you simply flick Make sure your blender's on low. Flick it on. Once it gets started, use the tamper. one to do. See how quickly and easily those bananas blended. So all we're going to do now is take the lid off the Optimum Blender. It's a bit dirty, I'm going to pop it in the sink. Grab the dehydrator sheets. Now these are so simple to use. You simply grab the dehydrator sheet, pop it on a flat surface and then take about a third of a cup of your mixture and place it on the tray. Now it's up to you how big that you'd like to create your particular crepes. You can make them a little bit thicker and turn them into pancakes if you like, but nice and thin crepes are usually the best for dehydrating. Now these are simple. Once you've got the third of a cup onto the dehydrator sheet, all you need to do is make a circle about 15 centimeters big or six inches big. Make sure it's even, you can't see any uh, blank areas of the dehydrator Teflex sheet that you need to use. Um, through the crepe and then you'll make about six to eight crepes using this particular this particular mixture. So we'll be right back when I'm done. Okay, so we got nine crepes out of the mixture today. It's usually between six and eight. It depends on the size of your crepes, but I don't need them to be any bigger than this. So I've made nine little crepes. I've half filled my blender jug with water. So we're just gonna give it a quick wash. This is the easiest way to wash your Optimum Blender. Half fill it with water. You can put a few dish drops in there if it's oily. Flick it on. And you'll see when all the bits start to come off the sides that it's clean and all you need to do is rinse it out so it's the fastest washing up ever. I'm going to pop that beside me and rinse it in just a moment. We're going to stop now while I pop these in the dehydrator. They dehydrate at 115 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is underneath the raw level for about six hours. But just check back on them. They'll peel off the edges very easily when they're done. All right, next we're gonna make the cashew cream to go inside. So this is a sweet cream, reminiscent of your normal dairy creams, but no dairy, so really great for allergies, people with lactose intolerance. You use the cashews. Now these cashews have been soaked for two hours or just a little bit more, so they're softer and they make a smoother cream. The next ingredient that we've got here is just a little bit of filtered water. And then some, you can use agave syrup. I don't really like agave syrup. Um, it's a highly processed sugar um, replacement. So I prefer maple syrup, even though it's not raw, or coconut nectar. So we're gonna use the sweetener of your choice in there. Make sure you don't uh, 
leave any of that. You definitely need it for sweet cream for uh, pancakes. And then the last ingredient is for crepes, the last ingredient is a vanilla bean. I'll just quickly show you how to get into that easily. Take a paring knife and just cut all the way down one side of the vanilla bean. Open it out just a little bit and then use your spoon or you can use the paring knife but I find it easier with the spoon to just scrape the middle of the bean out all together. Now in some things like ice cream you can throw the whole pot in as well. It gives a nice brown fleck but it doesn't have a great flavour so today we're just going to use the contents of the vanilla bean that you can see there. We've popped that in together. That's all that needs to go into our cashew cream. We just need to blend it all the way until it's nice and smooth. It'll take about 30 to 60 seconds with these soaked cashews. We've blended that just for a little while. You can blend to your own liking, but I like my cashew cream really smooth. So you'll see that that's smooth and creamy. It'll dollop just like regular cream. And as I mentioned before, those little dark spots are the vanilla bean inside. Shall I taste it? It's really good. I'm gonna pop that aside and make a berry coolie to go with it as well. This is a, such an easy recipe also. Just taking, cheating here with a second jug taking another jug and popping it on. This is actually the, the six blade jug that comes with the 9200. So just changing it up a little bit. Popping two cups of frozen raspberries which have been already thawed into the, the blender jug. A little bit of agave syrup or coconut nectar or maple syrup, your choice of sweetener can go in there. Such an easy recipe. Again, pop the lid on. You can put vanilla in here also if you like, but I don't think it's necessary. And then we're just going to start the blender and make sure nice short work of these berries. So just a couple of seconds and we have a nice rich red berry coolie. So we've made the crepes and they're in the dehydrator, ready to go. We've made a vanilla sweet cashew cream. We've made a, a berry coolie, and we've got some freshly chopped up uh, strawberries and some berries here. So I'm gonna pop out some of those crepes that I did earlier today, and we're gonna plate up this delicious dish. Okay, well, we've got these out of the dehydrator. Uh, they haven't been in for quite six hours, so you can see they've started to lift up, but not quite. But I've managed to get one off so that I can show you how to finish it. Now, if you want to know where this recipe came from, it came from Going Raw, which is a Judita Wagner book. This is my favourite raw recipe book at the moment. It changes very quickly. But if you'd like, go down to the comments below and add your favourite recipe um, or your favourite recipe book. I'd love to know what you prefer. So we're going to take this one banana crepe straight off the dehydrator tray. We're going to fill it up with a scoop, kind of like building a taco really, of cashew sweet cream. We're going to add in there a scoop of the berry coolie. There's no need to be particularly neat about it. Some fresh strawberries go on top. A few blueberries here and there and then you can just fold it over and close it. Personally I think we should stick a little bit of a toothpick in the top there and keep that closed. Throw a few more berries on top or around the plate and finish off with a little bit of green. You can drizzle with coconut nectar or some sort of syrup if you like, but it's going to be sweet enough as it is. So a quick and easy, delicious crepe for you to try out. Banana crepes, number one. Now, if you'd like to get your Optimum Blender, remember to go down the bottom to the description and you can click on the Fruity site closest to you. And if you liked this recipe, remember to subscribe to the Fruity TV channel because there'll be more great recipes coming every single week. Ciao for now.